As we begin our session today, I'd like for everyone to get in a comfortable position. Make sure you're comfortable in the chair or if you're reclining that you're stretched out in a comfortable supported position. You might want to loosen anything that's tightened or binding. You might loosen a belt or take off a watch band. Just go ahead and get in a very comfortable position physically. If you're lying down, you might want to prop up your knees, stretch out your arms. Be sure that you uncross your legs or separate your hands so that your arms and hands and legs and feet can be loose and relaxed. Now as we begin this self-hypnosis session today, I'd like for you to begin with your eyes open. And I'd like for you to look around the room to some spot or object directly in front of you that you can focus your attention on. It might be an object, it might be a shadow, or it might just be a speck on the wall or a crack in the ceiling tile. Select a spot or an object where your eyes have to look up slightly. Make certain that your head is not tilted up, just your eyes. And as we're beginning and learning, this will help with concentration. Now as you select a spot on the wall, or across the room or on the ceiling. I'd like for you to accept in your mind and remind yourself it's not the spot that's important. What's important is focusing my attention. Focusing my attention concentrating for the time being on nothing but that spot or object. Now as you do that, I know you're going to continue to hear noises in the room or outside your room. And I know that you'll have thoughts that will run through your head. Just allow those sounds to fade away unless, of course, there's something you need to attend to. And as for those intruding thoughts, just let them pass right on through. Those thoughts that are important, you can come back to when we've finished. Now as you continue to stare at the spot, at the same time, I'm going to begin to count to three. And with each number that you hear or count with me, you may allow your eyelids to become increasingly heavy 
weighted down, comfortable. One, as you stare at the spot, you may notice a tendency for your eyelids to blink, to feel heavy. If so, open them back up, continuing to focus on that spot as if it were important to memorize it. You may notice a growing heaviness in your eyelids or two, you may find that your eyes are becoming more and more tired or that the spot is becoming fuzzy or blurred. Sometimes your eyes may even water and you may choose to begin to let your eyelids become more and more heavy. Now when you're ready, but not until you're ready, three, you can allow your eyelids to begin to slowly close. You may notice that your eyelids feel weighted down as if there were some tiny lead weight weighting down your lashes. as slowly as you possibly can allow your eyelids to close or if you choose and wish to keep your eyes open you can just continue to focus intently on the object or spot letting everything else fade away. And as your eyes become more and more comfortable and relaxed, most people prefer to close their eyes or you can choose to keep your eyes open as long as it remains comfortable. And notice if you do choose to close your eyes, notice how heavy your eyelids feel, really weighted down. Heavily sealed. Of course, you could open your eyes at any moment, but you may notice the great difficulty and how very, very heavy your eyelids feel now. Now today, for the sake of concentration and increased focus and for staying awake, take just a few moments and roll your eyes up to your eyebrows. Do what we call an eye roll and roll your eyes up to your eyebrows and feel the strain, feel the twitching. Do that now. Do it until you feel the strain. And then let your eyes relax. And as you let your eyes and eyelids relax, you may notice that your upper body 
relaxes as well. So now, if you'd like, take a deep abdominal breath and slowly exhale through your mouth. Now. Good. And for the next few minutes, I'd like for you to think with me about the idea or the image or the thought of standing on some hill or high place. Some place where you can see for miles and miles. Some safe, protected place where the sun can bear down on the back of your head and shoulders and back and the wind can caress and brush past your face and chest and through your hair and where you can look down in the valley below and see all the things that one might see now you might pick a place out of your memory some place you've been before some park or wooded area or forest or you might create in your imagination such a beautiful place of nature maybe some place where the green trees line the hills beyond and where a river or a lake lies in the valley and you might even notice a large bird perhaps a hawk flying some distance from you as if drifting on a current of air so in your mind's eye or in your memories I'd like for you to see what you would see and hear the things that you might hear and feel the wind and the temperature and those internal feelings of being calm relaxed and in control so see the colors and the shapes see the shadows and the images of trees hills also notice where you might be standing listen for the sound of the wind and the trees in your memory think about the temperature the sun the wind and listen for the sound of any birds the wind in the trees or the sound of nature and after you've taken it all in you might notice the type of path or trail or place that you're standing and I'd like for you to accept in your mind that in just a moment I'm going to begin to walk down a trail or a path and with each step I take and with each moment that passes 
I can allow myself to go more and more deeply relaxed and yet at the same time be totally aware of my surroundings and hear anything that's important for me to hear. And as you begin to think about what type of path or trail you're standing on and even begin to follow that trail down the path into the woods or park or forest. At the same time, I'll begin to count down from five to one. And with each number that you hear, you can allow yourself to relax even more deeply and yet remain aware, calm, and in control. Five. As you walk or wind down this trail, you may notice how the path takes you through the trees. Sometimes sunshine streams through the opening in the trees and brightens the path. And other times you walk in the shade. I don't know if your path will go down and around and curve and go down again or if you'll find it's a fairly straight but sloping path. Four. As you go down or around or down this trail, notice the types of trees depending on the time of the year. You might notice smells, the smell of pine, or if it's the summer, you might notice the smell of honeysuckle or some other blooming bush. As you go down and around and down, and perhaps the path runs close to a stream of water three and you can not only hear but begin to see a mountain stream or a creek winding alongside the trail and notice the change in temperature as you get close to the stream and the sound of the water running either smoothly or roughly over the rocks or the sandy bed. And as you walk along following the path farther and farther and deeper and deeper, you can allow your mind to remain alert and aware and active and yet your body can become more and more deeply relaxed and easy. Two, taking another moderately deep breath and noticing or feeling relaxation moving down through you. I don't know if you'll feel warm or heavy. Or perhaps light. 
or sensations of tingling. Whatever sensation you feel can become more and more comfortable. And one on your path now, think of a place or see a place that would be comfortable, safe, secure, a place one might rest or stop and relax. It could be on a big, flat, warm rock beside the water. Or it might be in a hammock or swing or a chair under a shady tree. Or it could be at a cabin or a front porch or someplace entirely different. But think of a place now where you'd feel relaxed and calm and safe. And as you think of that place, and perhaps even see yourself in such a place. You could use this opportunity to give yourself some positive directions. You might repeat silently to yourself, I am calm, relaxed and in control. I am calm, relaxed and in control. My body is loose and relaxed. My body is loose and relaxed. My breathing is slow and regular. And whatever feelings of relaxation you feel, whether it's warmth or heaviness, lightness, tingling, or some other pleasant sensation, You can allow that feeling to deepen, to spread as you take a moderately deep breath and exhale. Good. And you might also want to give yourself some suggestions for later. Perhaps accepting now, I'll rest well this evening and will awaken refreshed. And I'll have all the energy I need for the day. I don't know if you'll notice that. 
consciously throughout the day or if you'll just find yourself later taking a deep breath and relaxing and gaining more and more control. Each time you practice this technique, you'll become more and more skillful. We've all had the experience of learning something new for the first time. Maybe remembering tying our shoes or riding a bicycle. First we were very awkward but because we wanted to learn each time we practiced it became increasingly easy and now we can do those things with little or no thought and as you practice relaxation or self-hypnosis it'll become increasingly easy to relax deeply to refresh yourself and to gain more and more control and in just a moment I'm going to begin to count back to five and at the count of five feeling refreshed energized or if you're listening to this tape in your room and wish to doze you may do so and ignore the counting one Two, becoming more and more aware of your surroundings. Three, four, and five. Opening your eyes, stretching, feeling refreshed, energy slowly returning, relaxed and more comfortable. <laughs>